AC coupled batteries, DC coupled batteries, high voltage or low voltage, which are the most efficient solar batteries? I'm gonna be answering that question and teaching you all about the different types of solar batteries in today's video. All right now, so in today's video, we're talking about solar batteries and specifically answering the question, which are the most efficient solar batteries? Now, when we talk about a solar battery, what we're talking about is an energy storage system, i.e. a battery or a bank of batteries, that is connected to your home's solar power system. Now, there are a couple of reasons why you might wanna connect a battery to your solar power system. Either number one, you need it for emergency backup purposes. So let's say if utility power goes down and you wanna be self-sufficient within your home, pairing batteries with your solar system allows you to run off solar panels during the day, you can charge your batteries when the sun is shining, and then you can run the house off of battery power at nighttime, and then the next day the solar panels take over and recharge the battery. And you can repeat that cycle as long as you need for an off-grid emergency backup setup. Now, the other reason you might wanna install batteries with your solar system is if your power company does not offer a one-for-one -one solar buyback program, or what we call a net metering program. Now, in the, back in the day when solar was really being promoted by the utilities, they would offer you a full one-for-one -one price credit. So during daytime hours, you could be powering the house directly on solar power, and all the excess solar power you could just send back to the power company, building up credits, so that then during the evening hour, you can just pull back in from the power company using the credits that you earned during the daytime hour. But now what many of the utilities are doing, they're not giving you a full one-for-one -one credit. So instead of selling the power back to them at a discounted rate, what many homeowners are choosing now is to store their extra solar in a battery. So whatever they capture during daylight hours, they store it in a battery so that they can then consume from their own battery at nighttime. They don't have to buy anything from the power company or they just use the power company as the last resort. So that's called a self-consumption model. Now, when we talk about solar batteries, they're gonna fall into one of two main categories, AC coupled batteries or DC coupled batteries. Now, when we talk about AC coupled versus DC coupled, what we're talking about is where does the interface or where is the connection point between the solar system and the battery system take place? Does it take place on the DC side with direct current coming directly off the solar cells and be able to, to, to feed that to the battery? Or is it done on the AC, the alternating current side at your AC circuit breaker panel? Now, there's a couple of pros and cons of each approach. The advantage of an AC coupled battery is that, again, all that connection can be done at ground level at the AC circuit breaker panel. So if you have an existing solar power system and you wanna add batteries to it without having to change anything on the roof or potentially void the warranty on your existing solar system, then an AC coupled battery allows you to do that more easily. However, you're gonna sacrifice efficiency. Now, the nice thing about DC coupled batteries is that it's much more efficient to charge solar direct solar to batteries in direct current format because both solar cells and battery cells are natively DC or direct current electrical devices. That's constant voltage. Whereas the electric grid and the circuits within our home are wild, wired for alternating current. And the reason we, we settled on alternating current for the electric grid is because it's more efficient when you transmit electricity across long distances. So it could be tens or hundreds of miles from where the, the energy is generated the, at the power plant to then your local electrical substation, your local transformer, and then finally the electrical panel within your house. Well, alternating current allowed you to do that more efficiently across long distances. But internal to devices and appliances, most of those things are natively direct current. Uh, the camera I'm recording on, uh, my laptop, my cell phone, most of the consumer electronics we use internally are direct current. And solar cells and batteries are direct current as well, which is why it provides for more efficient battery charging if you can keep the electricity in that format without having to convert back and forth. Now, when we talk about DC coupled batteries, they also are gonna fall into one of two categories, either low voltage, which is typically a 48 volt nominal voltage, uh, or high voltage. And most solar arrays are actually wired for high voltage, somewhere in the range of 300 to 500 volts. 
And so again, whenever you have to do a, an electrical transformation, whether you're stepping the voltage up or stepping the voltage down, there's a little bit of energy that's lost in the conversion process. Uh, in fact, many of you watching this, if you have a laptop or cell phone charger, go over and, and grab the base of that charger. Chances are you're gonna feel warmth or heat coming off of that device. And that heat is energy that's lost in the conversion process. Well, the same thing is true with solar. So let's say you have a high voltage solar array and then you're stepping it down to charge a lower voltage battery. Again, in solar, very common to have solar panels wired at let's say 400 volts. And then if you're using that to charge a battery that's operating at 48 volts, when you step that voltage down to charge the battery, you, you lose a little bit, which is why high voltage DC batteries are gonna give you the most efficiency in terms of your solar to battery round trip performance. Again, anytime there's an electrical conversion, DC to AC, AC to DC, step the voltage up, step the voltage down. Every time you do a conversion, there's a little bit of energy lost. So if you can keep the electricity in as close as possible to the original format and voltage, you're gonna have more efficient operation of the equipment. And that's why high voltage DC batteries offer you the best performance in solar. And that's a great time to introduce today's video sponsor, Fortress Power and the Avalon Energy Storage System. If you're looking for an all-in-one solar and energy management system, then you need to take a look at the new Avalon High Voltage Energy Storage System. The Avalon system gives you total control of your home's energy system, incorporating solar power, whole house backup, level two EV charging, generator support, and automatic load shedding, seamlessly integrated on a single platform. Avalon uses a high voltage DC coupled architecture, allowing you to achieve the highest levels of performance. So if you'd like more information, you can go directly to the Avalon website or click the link in the description below so that you can get in touch with an installer right away. Thank you Fortress for supporting the channel and for sponsoring today's video. Hey, by the way, I should mention the Avalon system supports AC coupled wiring if you need to use it to add on a battery to an existing solar system. But if you're doing a new solar and storage installation, you can take advantage of the much more efficient high voltage DC coupled wiring. So again, getting back to the concept of conversion losses, anytime you're converting electricity, either voltage or form factor, you're losing a little bit in that conversion process. So if you can keep you know, what is natively high voltage DC coming off of solar panels, if you can keep the electricity in that format and use it for battery charging or elsewhere within the system, it's just gonna give you more efficient operation. Now, the other advantage of using high voltage DC wiring is that it's much lower material cost. You know, the, simply the, the higher the voltage of the electricity, the less current you have to send through to get the same amount of power. So if you can think about it, kind of like water flowing through a pipe right? The voltage for electricity is like the pressure in your water line. And so if you have really, really high pressure in your water line, you don't need as large of a pipe to deliver the same flow of water. And so it's the same thing with electricity. If you have higher voltage electricity, you can use a smaller wire, therefore saving on the cost of, of the copper, of the, of the raw material cost of the wiring. And then of course that means you can use smaller conduits, smaller fittings. So all of the electrical materials that you need to install a solar power system, the cost of all of that is reduced if you can use the electricity in a high voltage format. So this has been a discussion of the most efficient solar batteries. Again, we're talking AC coupled, DC coupled, and then on the DC side, high voltage or low voltage, the DC coupled high voltage batteries are going to be the most efficient class of solar batteries. Uh, of course, if you're getting good value from the videos that you watch here on Solar Surge, make sure you give us a thumbs up uh, and go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. That way, as we have new videos like this coming out, it'll come up on your homepage and on your feed and you can stay up to date with us. Now, of course, if you're a homeowner out there, if you're in the process of looking at different solar and battery options for your home, um, if you need to get a quote for an AC or DC coupled battery option, um, as always, feel free to reach out to us on the link below there. It'll take you to our website where you can either set up a call with a solar expert uh, or just use our free online quote tool so you can see how much solar and batteries cost in your area. Well, that pretty much does it for today's video. I thank you all for spending some more time with Solar Surge. And as always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.